down the ground, and bang goes Susie Bates. It was full, not that wide, and she just uh, flashed on. Straight up, this is an opportunity, and should be taken it is. So a big breakthrough. The slowness in the air is deceived. This time in the up and over, that's how you get it through the field and beats the sweeper. Just not wide enough to cut. Underway, and could be with a boundary and is, that'll feel good. And a good end to the over, 21 for one. Down the pitch and over the top. That's the mindset that the White Ferns want to see from Sophie Devine, and it's gone all the way. Useful use of the feet here. Down this time, flat and hard. Again, just the power and muscle of Sophie Devine taking over there. Totally agree with you, Hackett. a stunner from the debutante. But Yarath is the player. Well, she went for it and she's done well of every loose delivery, Katie Gurry. And she's picked up the four there. Long way down. She takes herself into the 70s. Like that. Up and over and sure is. It's a beauty, it's a six. Yeah, well that's the other option is to make sure that you get close to the ball. Nobody behind, square work for... Oh no! Picked it up and tossed it over the boundary. This is better timing from Sathaway. She picks up another boundary in the same area. Well, that's in the gap too. That beats cover. Another boundary in New Zealand on the charge. This takes up doing. Five of them in there. And Sophie Devine still manages to find the gap. But it's short and progression from that further. That is powerfully struck. The bowler takes the blow again. Boundary for New Zealand. That is powerfully struck. And in the gap, too. First ball goes for four. And the 50 partnership is up. Reasonably slow delivery here. Amy Satterthwaite had time. Hard and high and one bounce into the boundary. Well, it's a terrific shot. Got the width. Picked it up. It's not an easy shot. Now, this one is even better and a harder shot to play. And this is back to back. Quality batting, but also the plans don't equal the fields. And this one's up in the air. Who's under it? Out in the cover area. Oh, it could have been a mix-up, but it was taken in the end. And a stunning innings comes to an end. Oh, thumped away. And gone. Full toss. Straight to the fielder, Rob Reeks. Be disappointed. Is that the way? She's pulled out the track, hasn't she? And a misfield and the reverse sweep will get four runs. Katie Martin. This shot. A full sweep round the side and into the vacant area. And that is four. 138 to four after 18. Oh, high. And back over the top. 
And is it under? Oh, no, does it hit the rope on the fall? You've got the best eyes, Ian Smith. Oh, that sucks. Billy Bowden sees it right from the outset. And the last ball of the innings, Mackay goes high and wide and over the top. In fact, Martin. What a terrific shot from Katie Martin. Oh, oh and showing her intentions already in the chance. High and into the boundary for four. Intent straight away. From Twinia. Right. Hold hard and out. And Casper takes the catch. And New Zealand have made a breakthrough. Much need a breakthrough as well. On debut, Twinia. Wide to Mendana, and that just tells you how well she times the ball. Bit of a gift, though, wasn't it? Wide full toss. No need. Over the top, handsome shot, no mucking around, four runs. That wonderful use of the feet uh, to the pitch of the ball and then up and over, inside out. Oh, on middle, and she picked out the gap because it was a 6-3 field and on to the onside, boundary four. Shorter this time and pulled round on the onside. Very square, back-to-back -back boundaries. We've seen him drive the ball through the offside, a pick-up shot through that mid-wicket free that they want to play. Down the wickets and smokes it to the boundary. The long-off boundary for Smriti Mandana. Lower this time and in the air again. Wonderful shot from Smriti Mandana. And this time, even better. Waiting for the signal. And there is some of that placement. That's a splendid shot. Now straight, straight and hard and hard enough. Two in a row. Big momentum swing here for India. Over the top. Three in a row, she's on fire. And Amy Settle waiting. Oh, at the moment. Delicate. Really delicate and full of class. Very classy innings we're witnessing here. Such a good player. And how's the timing? That has rocketed for four. It wasn't a quick delivery, and it's just eased away. It's placed. And that'll be a stretch and it'll go for four. It was just too short. She was able to pick a spot and she found it. Oh, no. Mandana had looked out there. She had looked into the onside. She was heading that way. Last ball for four. It was a good over to then. Eight off it. 11 gone, 98 for one. In the gap, one bounce for. I've got before, I think it was the Australian men's game. So, yeah, fantastic for the girls and, and great for the game as well. What a catch. taking a wicket here. The big wicket of Mandana for 58. Brilliant catch, absolute stunning catch, Rose. She ran in, it looked like she misjudged it and then had to go back. It was flighted, it was the wrong one from Amelia Kerr. It looked like another beautiful shot. Throw ran in and realised, oh no, what have I done? Wow, stuck out the left hand and it stuck. I don't think she could believe it.
and also a huge amount of relief. But the brilliant Indians ends on 58, 102 for two. An aggressive bowler. There's an edge. They're up straight away. And another big breakthrough. Rodriguez gone this time. Yeah, he must give credit to the captain, Amy Sathaway. Sensing an opportunity to get New Zealand back in this match. She turns to her number one bowler. Short and wide. A little bit of luck that that wasn't put away, but a faint edge nonetheless. Too quickly. In the air, and it's worked. Master stroke, and use your opening bowler to be aggressive and pick up wickets, and it's working. Opening up, and another one. It's a repeat, caught curve, ball to her who. Bit of a brain freeze now from... Uh... International wicket and a very important. Oh, this is a great shot from Harmon Three Core. Signature shot. Let me try this. Down the wicket and out. Has she got it this time? Yes, she has. Marlon does the business. The six, the previous ball, this time dances down the wicket outside the off stump. Says, let's have a look. I'm picking out. This is sharp work behind the stumps. Third umpire to director. We have a stumping report. Devine back into the attack, and that's out, and that is the game. And Amy Satterwake, the New Zealand skipper, smiles and hugs all round for the New Zealand side. Oh, what a win! Yeah, they're pumped out there, aren't they? They are really pumped because they know which way this game was going earlier on. India had it in the bag. They were able to get the classy Mandana out. They got rid of her for 58. All of a sudden, they just went bang, 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 and the wickets started to tumble. The attitude improved. 